I think I might be getting a, a UTI or have a UTI, so that's not fun. And when I was taking a shower, I ended up getting sick quite a few times while trying to take a shower. So what I'm going to do is energetically cleanse myself. And there is a healing spell in one of my witchcraft books that I wanted to, I thought about using whenever I was recovering from my surgery, but I just never got to it. So I'm going to do that and see if that helps any, because I did take uh, medicine for it but I think that's what some of it I had ended up coughing up when I was in the shower so I really need to not feel like crap because I have to work today so we don't need sickness in this house <laughs> yeah it's probably a bit TMI to share my health issues but honestly at this point in my life, I really don't care. But um, the the spell that I used is from Practical Magic by Nikki Vandekar. It's the healing spell in it, and it calls for... Let's see if I can find it again. Because I closed it, and... But um, it called for using, like... A, garlic incense or, or smudge which I don't have so I just burn some of my Billy incense that I have and it also called I can't find it right now but um, it also called for using turquoise clear quartz and garnet crystals and like putting it on the area that needs to be healed I have garnet chips and I thought I had gotten a garnet stone but I couldn't find it, and um, the only, I think the only turquoise that I have is in a necklace, and I didn't go and get that, but I do have clear quartz, and I replace the other two with rose quartz and honey calcite, um, and just so I can get the rose quartz for the self-love, and the honey calcite reminds me of just, like, pure sunshine and sweetness, so, and with honey, it being an anti -mac, like microbial type of thing, definitely a perfect fit for that. And it has a spell that you speak when you're doing it. But now I am also going to make me some tea, like some green tea, because I did some Googling. It said green tea is good. And I'm going to put some cramp bark in it with it as well, because cramp bark is really good for the menstrual issues um or just like pain in general so i got a little bit of that so i'm gonna add it into some my my green tea um it also says peppermint tea is good for that as well but i associate more peppermint tea being for like super upset stomach and it's not my stomach that's upset so i'm just gonna drink some green tea and probably be drinking tea for pretty much all day today and instead of drinking my coffee I'm going to start my day with tea but yeah um the pain has lessened up a little bit I think my like the medicine that I took earlier finally kicked in whatever is left in my system after me throwing it up but I'm still like it's coming coming going with like cramping pain and it's like shooting down my legs too so it's not the best feeling <music>
got back into doing yoga this morning. Now it's not quite back into a routine yet, but at least I started doing yoga again. So I am pretty pleased about that because it's the first time since my surgery that I decided to like get, get into back into doing yoga. So I am pretty pleased with me. I didn't push myself too much because my um, where the stitches were were still kind of tender, so I didn't want to do something too strenuous. But I tend to watch yoga with Adrian on YouTube. Um, I'll try to remember to link her down below. Um, but I use her. I, go, I started going back to like her very first YouTube videos and have been watching like her sequences and stuff like that. Um, I only got maybe about a little bit more than halfway through a 22 minute video for a side body like stretch sequence um, today and then I started kind of like throwing some of my own stretches there that I felt like I needed to do. Um, I'll probably finish that video tomorrow and kind of like if once I start feeling like I am properly stretched I'll probably start pushing myself a little bit more but yeah. Hear another cat meowing, and I can't tell if it's Bravo or if it's someone else. But, um, yeah. I am just pretty happy about getting back into it. I, like, my back really needed, <laughs> my back and my sides really needed the stretch. I felt a couple of pops in when I was doing it, so I'm pretty pleased with that. But right now, I am making me some coffee because I am sleepy again. Even though I've only been awake for like maybe an hour, but yeah, it's time for some coffee. Now we are in the bedroom where these my ones that need a little bit more sunlight to try to coax some sprouts. These, my forget-me-nots are not wanting to uh, sprout. It doesn't look like the columbine flowers are really doing anything. I have one little sprout for the sunflower coming in. Nothing for the uh, other type of sunflower. Nothing for the sage just yet, but my curled, double curled parsley is starting to sprout. The seeds that are still germating, they haven't really had much growth. It looks like there's something in the chili cayenne peppers. I had a couple of tiny sprouts for the lavenders, but I haven't checked, checked them since I last planted. Um, like these into pots so I'll probably do that this weekend maybe and check on them and see if I need to transplant them into soil. Now we are in the bedroom where these my ones that need a little bit more sunlight to try to coax some sprouts. These my forget-me-nots are not wanting to uh, sprout. It doesn't look like the column buying flowers aren't really doing anything. I have one little sprout for the sunflower coming in. Nothing for the uh, other type of sunflower. Nothing for the sage just yet, but my curled, double curled parsley is starting to sprout. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I am in the car about to head off to have lunch with a friend and I just wanted to do a quick update because I didn't update last night um, when I was reading, but I finished reading Ember in the Ashes and I gave it four and a half stars. I really enjoyed it and the ending kind of blew me away. I wasn't really expecting the action-packed ending all that much, but I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to pick up now. I'm probably going to read a little bit of Psychic Witch because I do have that in my bag with me here at work. Um, I'll probably read 
as much as I can until and then I switch to maybe reading um, Heartstopper Volume 2 because I wanted to reread the first two so I can read the third volume for Tarot TBR but we'll see if that actually happens. I know my sister is wanting to buddy read Sheets. Um, she hasn't set, let me know when she started that so I don't know when I'm going to be starting that soon. It'll be whenever she is able to start it but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick reading update and I am going to go and head out and get some food. So, I got my cord in the way. So, with it being the month of May, there's a thing in the crafting community, more specifically the sewing community, called Me Made May, where you share it, objects or things that you have made and you wear those things every day. I am terrible about updating it. Yesterday I was even wearing a skirt that I had sewn like a year or two ago and didn't say anything about it but the, sh the dress that I'm wearing today is a me made dress. This is one that I made. I believe it's one that I possibly may have done like a sewing vlog for a while ago but this is just some stretch knit fabric I got from Hobby Lobby and the pattern is I think a simplicity pattern that I also got from Hobby Lobby that I modified. The, the modifications I did was it needing like an invisible zipper and a hook and eye in the back and I didn't do that. And this was the dress that was supposed to get me back into like doing sewing stuff and it worked for like a week or two. And I kind of fell back out of it again, but I just wanted to share the me made outfit for the day. It's super comfy. I really love it and I love how shiny and like velvety this fabric is. And this was, I bought this fabric during my floral stage. I was buying a lot of fabric and a lot of shirts and stuff that were floral for some reason. I ne never was really a floral person until like the last couple of years. So when I saw this black velvet floral, I had to get it. So, but yeah, I really do need to get back into sewing. So yeah, we'll see if that happens. Also, I just wanted to do a quick update. I had, um, I've been kind of debating if I wanted to do this since I hit 500 subscribers on here. But I decided to go ahead and do it because I would like to, for this channel to grow more and I want to be able to do more things with this channel and with my other social medias and get a little bit better. Um, I decided to start a Ko-fi account where you guys can um, donate or leave tips for this channel and for like my Twitch stream to help me get like gear and stuff so I can do a a bit more streaming over on Twitch that will result in Twitch replays here on the channel in the future and just to kind of help improve channel content and things like that. Um, a uh, later on down the line I may start like offering other types of services on Kofi. I'm not too sure but right now it's just on just a tips and donation basis. Uh, if anyone wants to support the channel, no pressure. If not, uh, just totally fine. Um, my goal uh, for coffee or Kofi right now is to try to just get like a um, a game capture card, which usually like some of the ones were pretty cheap on Amazon. The one that I found that I am interested in getting is um, like $35, I think. So, and that will, enable me to be able to stream from the Switch with some of the games that I have on there. So I would be interested in doing that and then I slowly start a actual streaming setup um, and like improving just things like related to the house. Maybe like help kind of set up a good actually record good recording space and things like that maybe help like with like getting our office sorted out who knows it's just things to kind of help improve the channel and things like that um and i don't talk about it much either but i also do have an etsy store where i sell a lot of the things that i make like 
these like knitted beanies. I've been making a bunch of splodgy beanies. I haven't updated in a while and I do have a stack of things I need to take pictures and update Etsy for, but my Etsy is linked in the description box below along with the Kofi link. So if you're interested in any of that, um, feel free to check that out. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that update. Since hitting 500 and I would like to get to 1,000 so we can hit the monetization part of YouTube, but I have a feeling that's going to be a little while before we hit that part, but this will kind of help improve things over the coming months. Happy Thursday, you guys. I am here at the office. I been here for about an hour now um just i have my friend dylan's stream up in the background so you may hear some talking so i have his stream up while he's playing the new legends of zelda and i'm um, just doing some planning for future rounds of this readathon i may not do another month long readathon this year I haven't quite decided but I've kind of I've been brainstorming ideas of future rounds um so I'll once I get uh, some more ideas the joys of recording when you're at work um but yeah I have some ideas of um kind of in the same vein as the way that G does magical readathon and where you have created your own character. I'm kind of thinking of something like that. Um, I know the very first round of Witchathon I did, um, like choose, you started out as a baby witch and you would choose your witch type and you would read prompts based on that. And I'm kind of thinking about doing something like that again, but in like as a similar vein, but having it more detailed. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. That way I can, um, that way I can really uh, hash that out because I think it would be kind of cool to even like you guys still being in like your certain covens but like kind of creating the your type of witch like your little avatar types thing for that but that's just kind of me like spitballing ideas and I know for the next round of Witchathon, it's going to be a mini round and it's not going to be like based on teams or whatever. It's just going to be a pretty much exactly like the Yule round and I do plan on doing the Yule round again because I really did enjoy that. Um, the next mini round that I'll do a separate announcement video for this so you, you guys might see the announcement video before you see this vlog. I honestly really don't know but I'm planning on doing it for Let's try this again, shall we? People at people coming in and having to pause. But um, yeah, the next week long round will be for uh, Lilith or Litha. I can't, I don't know the pro proper pronunciation for this. I'll have it on the screen here. It, it's mostly known as Midsummer. Um, it's celebrating the summer solstice. And for that round, I have it for like the entire like week. Uh, as I mentioned, I'll. I'll do like a full announcement video like separately of this but um yeah I'm pretty excited to start doing that and I'm thinking about just doing more mini readathons around the different sabbats so that way it'll be more active um throughout the year and just kind of keep the readathon going and like uh, fun and exciting for people to like have just like a little community and like share like in the discord and things like that so I'm pretty excited to get that done um uh, doing the planning and stuff for that I'm just kind of like putting down ideas of what I want for like the uh, prompts and like some activities I'll probably do like a small bingo bingo board like I did for Yule so it would be pretty quick and easy to do um but yeah um so far today I don't really have much going on I'm almost done reading the psychic witch because I did read some of that last night um I'm getting I like you can hear still feel hear Dylan in the background but um I don't have much left of that to finish I'm hoping to finish that today but 
at the rate that work has been going with phone call wise. We'll see if that actually happens, but um, I have to do a split shift tomorrow because my boss is taking the day off um, for him and his wife's anniversary. So I'll be up here bright and early in the morning. So I'll have to try to get as much done work-wise today and like try to get all my ducks in a row so I'm not scrambling in the morning. to do a quick reading update. I finished reading Psychic Witch by Matt, Matt Ori? Ori? I'm not too sure. Psychic Witch. Um, it's finally a long time running. I've been picking this book up on and off since March, but I finished that. I started and finished uh, Heartstopper Volume 2. Um, that was a read read for me, and Psychic Witch I gave like three and a half stars. Um, there's a lot of information in Psychic which I can definitely use for the future. Um, so I, I do recommend it as a, a good source material. Um, second volume of Heart, Heart Stopper is just a reread for me, so, um, which is like four stars. And I'm about to start volume three here soon. So, but yeah, I got quite a bit of reading done today. I don't know how I managed to like do a half decent makeup look today at like five o'clock in the morning without coffee, mind you. But I am just here to do an update. I had finished um, Heartstopper volume three last night and I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Um, I was going to start volume four, but I ended up going to bed early in preparation of having to be up early or, or like up and moving earlier than I normally am, um, for today. But yeah, um, uh, I am going to try to focus on reading today during my off times. Get my book out. Growing Joy, The Plant Lover's Guide to Cultivating Happiness in Plants by Maria Filia. This is a book that got me, like, jump-started in my want of gardening, like, at the beginning of the month. And I am not quite halfway through it, so. And it's a library book, so I need to finish it um, anyway, so. I honestly forgot what I was saying, but, um, yeah, this book has had cultivated my love of, or, well, my need of starting a garden this year, but um, so far so good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. At the most, I would like to try to at least get 50 pages every time I sit down and read it, but we will see. Uh, it might be one of the ones that I won't have any trouble finishing it, because for some reason, if, it took me so long to finish Psychic Witch, and it's taken me so long to finish Goblet of Fire too. So with those, I will at least try to get 50 pages I done done when and I'm focusing on it like a day. But with this one, I just put it down because I was focusing on the other books that I started. So, but the way that this one reads super quick, I don't think I have to do that with this one. But it all depends if I ended up end up having a buddy read, but. What I need to do is I need to start Witches of East End and the Cloisters for the book clubs. Because, yeah, because I'm falling behind on that. So we will see if that's something else I start today or if like I'll read 50 pages in those maybe today and then read in Growing Joy. We'll see, but I am not feeling the greatest this morning. I don't know if it's because I'm up this super early but my stomach is not feeling it too great like i'm actually feeling kind of nauseous so i am hoping that the day goes by quickly and there's not so much anxiety going on i am feeling a little bit anxious because i always feel this way when i'm the one who's opening but yeah i'm just not feeling the greatest at the moment i don't know if it's just my anxiety 
that is making me feel this way, but it's just not boding well for me so far this morning. At least I haven't gotten actual physically sick yet, but it kind of just feels like it's gonna be in <laughs> Excuse the cat tail, but it looks like Tor is doing a whole bunch of mailing out because I got another book from them. Let me see what this is. Ooh. Red Rabbit by Alex Grushian. Grushian? I'm not sure. Wanted for witchcraft, dead or alive. I don't remember what this one's supposed to be about. I know I requested a few books, so I'm surprised I'm actually honestly getting any of the the arcs. But saddle up, it's going to be a bloody ride. Every hired gun in Kansas is out to collect the bounty on Sadie Grace's head including bona fide witch hunter Old Tom and his mysterious mute ward rabbit. On the road to Burden County, they're joined by two vagabond cowboys with a strong sense of adventure, but no sense of purpose, and a recently widowed school teacher with nothing left to lose. And as their posse grows, so does the danger. Racing along the drought-stricken plains in a stolen red stagecoach, they encounter monsters more wicked than witches lurking along the dusty trail, but the crew is determined to get that bounty or die trying. Red Rabbit is a folk horror epic about a ragtag posse that must track down a witch through a wild west beset with demons and ghosts where death is always just around the corner. Ooh, adult horror. That's exciting. It comes out September. It doesn't say when in September, is it? It's part of the Nightfire range. The Torn Nightfire one. No, it just says coming out September of this year. But it sounds really interesting. I'm depending on how I like this and whenever I get to reading it, I might give it to my dad because he's into like western type of stuff. And that I don't know if he's really into horror though. I'll have to ask him if he would be interested in reading it. But definitely sounds really interesting. So thank you, Tor, for the new another arc to check out. Thank you so much. <laughs> reading update. I am on page 90 in Growing Joy. I only just started reading it within the last few minutes, so I got like a good like 10 pages read. But I did start reading The Witches uh, of East End by Melissa Del Cruz. It is the uh, maze pick for my So Mode B book club. And I'm only 10% in the way, like into it, and I'm already enjoying it because there is some infertility rub um, in this. One of the side characters is dealing with infertility and it just like really hit me in the feels and made me feel seen. So it's already starting to like sink its claws into me. So I'm pretty excited about that. But as you can see, I'm back at work for my second half of the day. I've been here for about like 40 minutes. Hopefully the rest of the day goes by because I am fighting off a headache, but I did have my allergy shots. I wonder how that it's looking. And it's like right here. It's not too bad on camera. It does kind of look like it's bruising up a bit. 
I'm about to say. Oh yeah, you can see it's kind of swollen right in here. So yeah, I did take um, allergy and multi-symptom medicine that has acetaminophen in, in it. So I'm hoping that will help with this headache that's coming through. But I am ready for the weekend. I'm ready to kind of just chill out and try to read as much as possible. Um, tomorrow is Allie's 24-hour readathon. Um, the book that, the group book that she picked or everyone voted on was um, Babel by R.F. Kuang. I don't have a copy of it and I won't be reading it with them. Um, but I'm going to try to get as much reading done as I can during that um, stream because she is doing this for charity. And yeah, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, we also have trivia I'm going on on Meredith's channel. Honestly, I should double check. Can't remember if it's supposed to be tonight or tomorrow. I need to check on that. Let's see. I can get my keyboard out. <laughs> Trivia night tomorrow at 6 p.m. So I'll be taking a break, break from the 24-hour live to do Trivia night with her and Ashley. But yeah, I'm... I think that's about it for my updates right now. I am just um, watching a Twitch stream while doing some reading. So I will get back to doing that and hopefully the rest of the day will fly by. <laughs>